Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be discussing my rush week at UCF. I did go through sorority recruitment and I went up until prep night. So if you guys want to stick around and hear the story or my experience, then just keep watching. If you guys are new here, I would love to have you be a subscriber. So just click the red button down below and also turn on your post notifications. I just share my life and all my fun experiences. It also mean the world to me if you follow me on Instagram. So so check that out down below as well. I just wanted to preface this by saying I am not against sororities. I actually was super excited to be potentially joining one. I have been on Rush TikTok and I just love seeing and hearing people's experiences. So getting into my experience, I had a pretty good experience and if I can find them, I will post some pictures so you guys can see um, kind of like what it was like. So starting off, I did have like a rocky start because there's certain like requirements, I think, um, like certain classes, like you need to have so many, you need to be taking so many credits. And I was gonna be taking a trig class at Valencia because I didn't really like it at UCF, but I ended up taking it at UCF, long story, but that's just for another time, maybe my college experience video, um, like actually what it was like going to UCF. But long story short, there was some drama with that because I was gonna be taking a math class off of campus. So from the beginning, it was a little bit of a struggle, but it all worked out and everything was fine. I did end up taking trig at UCF, just a side note. What I remember was you had to upload a picture of yourself and like share your major on this website. I think it was UCF Panhellenic website and you just like input all this information. It was almost like you were applying for something, which you kind of were, um, but like obviously you would get accepted because you're gonna go through the rush process. So um, I just remember uploading my picture. I put my senior picture, it was this picture and I thought I looked good in it. So I'm like, oh, maybe they'll like, you know, think I'm pretty or whatever and I'm just gonna say this too a lot of people are like there's no tears and blah 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 guys there's tears of life okay there is a class system of life um there is you're never gonna get away from that so when people say things like there's not a tier system they're just lying to you I'm sorry I was never in a sorority so maybe people would say like oh Alex like you don't know what you're talking about but just knowing and being on planet earth, I know that there's a tier system because there is in anything you do, cheer, dance, sports, whether it be like basketball, baseball, soccer, um, whether you play the violin or piano, yes, there's a tier system. Gymnastics, no matter what you do in life, jobs, there's always gonna be a tier system. So yes, there's a tier system at all the colleges with the sororities. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Also too, I feel like this shirt gives Panhellenic vibes. I don't know, very pastel. I know that my shirt was like pink and it had UCF and Chevron. It was like a green or like a yellow. Um, I don't actually remember or still have it, but it might be in one of the photos. I know this video is like all over the place, but this was in 2015. So I'm just kind of like going off of like my memory and stuff. First was meeting all of the houses and the girls. And that is when they just like scream at you in the door and like chant and stuff and um, I thoroughly enjoyed meeting everyone there's only like a few houses that I just didn't really vibe with but that's okay um, one of my roommates was actually in a sorority and her sorority was like really nice but they didn't have a house and that was like one of my biggest criteria is like they needed to have a house because like that's part of the experience and that's what you're paying for partially the second day was like philanthropy day and that is when they just talk to you about their philanthropy, like some were like St. Jude, Ronald McDonald House, um, Autism Speaks, like they support a lot of nonprofits, like each chapter has their own. Um, and I remember I got called back to like a lot of the houses I really liked on the second round. Um, and I was excited about that because two of them were like top tier, I guess. It was Katie and ZTA. I think out of all of the houses, my favorite one was ZTA. I would love to have been in that one. Um, and I did get called back to both of those um, for the second day. So I think I'm actually kind of proud of that because 
I don't know, um, my roommate that was in a sorority, she was like saying that some of the girls in some of the chapters were like bragging on like how many they cut. And she was like talking about like some of those. And I'm like, well, I made it to the second round. Yes. Um, so I was kind of excited about that. Just knowing kind of how they were and stuff so um that was cool i liked kappa alpha theta a lot but they like dropped me i think on the first round um as well as kappa kappa gamma i really liked them too because a lot of people in my major which was biomed were in kappa kappa gamma and i would be like kind of cool to be in that sorority with them but i think they those two that i really liked also dropped me on the first day so i was like okay i really like zta i was hoping for them and everything um but obviously that didn't work out um but i do remember getting called back to those two houses on the second day which was the philanthropy day and after all of the days you would wait in this big long line um at the panhellenic place because then you would file in and then you would rank and you didn't have like a lot of time to do this you would like rank the sororities that you liked so i'd always put like either zta or KD like on the top just because. And since I'm a legacy of both of those sororities, like maybe that's the reason why I got called back for the second round um, because Valerie was a ZTA and then Sherry was a KD. So I really only think maybe that was the only reason why I got called back, but whatever. I like to think of it being my good merit and personality and maybe looks, who knows? But um, anyway, so we would put all of our like preferences and stuff and then that would just be like the end of every day so then going to day three day three was video day and i remember video day was pretty cool i got to see videos of like the sisterhood i actually get really inspired by sorority videos for like my own videography purposes and i know that's kind of weird but like whoever produces them and stuff is super talented there's some really good ones out there so if you want to get like creative with like angles, shots, people, poses, check out sorority recruitment videos because like that's kind of where I get inspiration. So check those out. So I got called to, I think my last houses were Delta Zeta and I loved Delta Zeta. If I, if they had a house, I would probably be a DZ because I really liked that sorority a lot. But again, one of my criteria was they had to have a house. And then I got called back to Chi Omega. Uh, this is for video day, remember, because we're past, we're past philanthropy day. Um, I got called back to Chi Omega and that was like my least favorite one. Sorry if you're in that one. I got into an argument with this one girl about like what classes you had to take as like a biomed major. And I'm like, well, my like guidance counselor person like said this and it was like kind of awkward. I didn't really like them. Sorry, I'm just being completely honest. And then Gamma Phi Beta. And they were nice too, but like, I just didn't really like that one. Again, sorry. Again, my roommate was a Gamma Phi Beta and she was like super cool and stuff. I just didn't really like vibe with that one. And again, they didn't have a house. And I know that sounds crazy, but again, if you're spending thousands of dollars to be in an organization, number one, you should be able to like kind of choose which one you want to be in and because you're paying like thousands of dollars and they should have a house. So those are the three that I got to see video day. And one of them, I think it was Kai Omega, they used like the song by um, the like, it's like, think I could fly. It's by Galantis or something. I don't know, Pamela Reef uses it in one of her videos. So that's why I just think it's so funny. Okay, so next was Pref Night or Pref Day. And um, I got Pref for Gamma Phi Beta and Delta Zeta, I believe. I'm not sure. And like, I really liked them, but again, they didn't have houses and I didn't really like vibe well with the Gamma Phi Beta just cause. So I decided to drop. I didn't make it to bid day because I was like, I don't want to waste people's times and stuff. And my Ro Gamma was so nice. I think she still follows me on Twitter and UCF Panhellenic follows me on Twitter. So that's really, really funny. Everyone was super nice. And um, there's another girl that uh, was really nice and she still follows me on Twitter for some reason. She probably thinks I'm like a lunatic now, but um, there's really cool people and I, didn't not have a good time. I had a good time up until that time where I dropped. But since I got my little like thing and it said like, these are the ones or whatever that you're most likely gonna get a bid from. I just told my Rogamma like, hey, I wanna drop. 
and she was like she didn't push me at all she was like really cool about it and I was just like this is why and blah 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 so she was like okay I had like a couple papers to like sign saying like I'm gonna drop and everything so I really wish that we had more control over which house we got and like where we felt comfortable and stuff and in the grand scheme of things uh an organization just like anything else kind of the money is a big aspect so you know I kind of looked at it as if you don't want my money then like okay there you go like it's fine guess we're just not meant to be um but I think my favorite part was seeing inside of the houses oh my gosh Tri Delta's house was my favorite oh my gosh it was so big and it was so cool I honestly just wanted to get called back to that house um because <laughs> their house was like gorgeous and like the cars parked in like the driveway really like cool nice classy cars like oh my gosh Tridel's house was like my favorite um I really liked Pi Fi their house was like really cute it was very like homey like I remember I loved 80 Pi but they dropped me like the first cut so I'm like okay guess they weren't vibing with me like I was hoping to get in that sorority just because I know a lot of 80 Pies but I guess it just again wasn't cut out which is fine but yeah I think if I did join a sorority though I would have had a better college experience but going back I think everything happens for a reason and I'm really happy that I went through the experience because I don't want to like look back and be like oh I wish I rushed because I knew I wanted to rush and I wanted to be in a sorority so bad like you guys don't understand like I was ready to buy all of the stuff but I'm also so happy I didn't just settle with a sorority just to be in one it's kind of like a relationship you shouldn't settle so I am happy that I didn't just settle on one just to be in a sorority and keep in mind my background is kind of like from a sorority in a sense because I did competitive dance and we were like all a team and like you know we had our like inside jokes and like all of that stuff and like girly and like fun I'm glad I did it I am kind of sad that I didn't get one with a house and everything and everyone was really nice like everyone that was going through rush with me they were all cool people and there was like no drama or anything um, and meeting all the girls too like I really thought I was gonna get a bid from Kappa Kappa Gamma because like I knew so many of the girls in there at least like eight because we had classes together so I'm like maybe someone's not putting in a good word for me like you know what all right I see how it is oh I did want to add it was super hot and uncomfortable during those times because it was like in the middle of like August Ooh, it was horrible and like you had to walk to the houses like there was no transportation system so it was horrible it is what it is I think sororities should do you know like a different system because I just don't like the way they do it I think it should just be like you should join if you want to join you're gonna get your money either way so like just be more money right so um I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any other questions about sorority recruitment at UCF leave your comments down down below so make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video bye